Today, I want to talk to you about how I attach Anubius to driftwood. Don't go anywhere. All right, guys, so I just want to share with you a quick, simple tutorial on how to tie Anubius to driftwood. I managed to get some really awesome driftwood pieces from uh, Greg Jones over at my aquarium box. And uh, I've been, I boiled these yesterday and I've been soaking them all night so they're uh, hydrated, heavy, they're gonna sink, there's no problem with that. Uh, I have some awesome pieces of Anubius. Got a whole bowl of them here. There's some golden Anubius, uh, Anubius and some Nana Petite in here as well. These were all uh, gifted to me by is it Chris Lukalp and uh, actually it was Volker, which is an aquascaper from Germany that works with Dinnerlay. So they hooked me up with these at the Aquatic Experience in New Jersey. So I'm gonna go, I've been keeping these. These are like the last of what I have. I need to find a home for them. And I happen to have these pieces of driftwood. So figured I might as well go ahead and give you guys a little bit of a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys a little bit closer in here and I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. Okay, so you can see I have a whole bunch of cool tools over here to work with. I have my, uh, some uh, scissors here. I also have a little bit more of like uh, agricultural scissors, something like that for uh, trimming up plants and some regular scissors and some tweezers and whatever, just things that I might use. Uh, a lot of people will use super glue to glue small plants and stuff like that to driftwood. I'm actually not gonna do super glue today. I kind of find it to be a little bit messy actually. Uh, the string works pretty well. Um, this string, I actually got this in my My Aquarium box as well. So these are all the different pieces of driftwood that I got. This is really nice. It almost looks like a volcano or an actual just root to a plant. You could probably just put it, put an Anubius right in there like that, <laughs> and that would work, right? You wouldn't even have to tie that. You could just stuff it in there. I'm not gonna do that. That would just be too easy. I might save that for something else later. I'm not sure. So I have that piece. That's a little bit larger piece. Uh, I do have another little cute piece here. That one could go in the ground like that maybe. I'm not sure. And then I also have this piece to work with. So I have those three pieces of driftwood. I have this Anubius here. I believe this isn't a, a golden Anubius. I'm not sure. I have that one as well. And then I think that's also golden, uh, golden Anubius. I have that. And then a little, a couple little smaller pieces here. I believe this is actually Busta Philandra. And this is Anubius here. One thing I want you to take a look at is that this is actually a rhizome plant. So you don't really want to mess up the rhizome, but at the same time, uh, when the rhizome gets bigger, you can literally split the plant apart. Like I could technically, there's more than one plant here. I can pull this apart right there. And that is a separate rhizome and it's its own plant now separated from this one. So it's that easy really once you have a big bunch of Anubias like this and you have a healthy um, piece of it growing. Okay, so I have all these awesome pieces to work with. This should look really cool by the time I get to the end of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably tie a piece on there on the edge here. And that'll literally just, I will tie it by the root base and part of the rhizome around the bottom and wrap it around this way. Try to keep the leaves out of it. And I'm not gonna like really have to trim this up at all. I, I think one thing that's important that you wanna try to do is when you set the plant you want to try to make it so that the roots naturally kind of wrap around it and if you can start to get that going uh, it'll latch on a lot easier on its own it's easier if you're all by yourself to have some string ready and get a nice long piece of it and just break it off to get the spool out of the way honestly it just makes things easier what i like to do just to start things out and to make it easy when you're all by yourself. And this is a little, maybe my little tip or trick in here is you make like a lasso. You start with a little loop. You just tie it off so that you have a little loop like that. And then you take the other end of it and you run it through it. You run the string through the hole there. And now you have this lot, you have a lasso. So then I can take that with the roots and wrap it all the way around the roots in the wood and get this leaf out of the way and even find something back here to find something back here to snag it on. 
and that's the first little wrap but that's just the beginning that's just to get it going and now it's holding itself I'm not having to hold the plant at all I'm gonna do three more in that spot maybe I'll go back here and then I'll work my way around the bottom of it and in the end where I really like to use the super glue is when I've tied it off but the knot, the knot is not perfectly tied you can just go ahead and super glue right there where your tie is and then you can just leave it there to dry and then once that's dry you can cut off the leftover piece of string so that's not floating around in the water so over time the roots are actually going to go ahead and start to attach themselves to that driftwood and the string will eventually just biodegrade and and just dissolve and the plant will be left there connected to the driftwood so i'm going to probably go ahead and put another plant right there is what i'm thinking i'm going to go ahead and break this off just to make this a little bit smaller and then i have another plant right there once again so it really makes a big difference making this lasso it's just gonna really help a lot, especially in a situation like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay that up like that. I'm actually gonna get the, the string over the plant first and then go around the piece of wood and tighten it up, tie it off just like that. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the super glue just to make sure that it doesn't come loose. Like I said before, once the super glue dries, you can go ahead and cut the string off here so that's that piece right there that's not too bad I like the black string because it definitely it doesn't show up too horribly bad and eventually like I said it's going to go ahead and just decompose and just rot away it will just it'll dissolve and you'll be left with the plant attached to the piece of driftwood now we're on to these two smaller pieces I've got a lot to choose from now put two of the bigger pieces on this big piece and then one big piece and one small piece there definitely find a little home for this uh, Bucephalandra probably I could literally just stuff it in here and in a case like this you can use a little bit of super glue and it just so you don't have to worry about the string it's so small so in a situation like that with the super glue I'm just gonna put a little bit of super glue right onto the plant now this is non toxic for the plant so it's not gonna harm the plant and I'm just gonna stuff it in there this super glue gel does tend to firm up a little bit once you put it under water. All right, so this is all of them finished. Uh, I think they came out pretty good. That one's nice. It's got three little pieces there. You got two pieces on this one. You could probably do it either way. You could do it this way or turn it around this way. And then you have this nice bigger piece as well. And you can see that that black string kind of does, you know, it's not, it doesn't stand out too bad. It's not horrible. Uh, it's, it's not awesome, but it's better than, it's, it's, it's better than just going with super glue because sometimes the super glue will come loose and the plants will float. Well, that's that. It's pretty simple. Uh, it can be a little bit challenging. I think the best thing is to do that little lasso technique in the beginning to get the plant cinched down and on the piece of driftwood. And then you can start making wraps and then taking that super glue and instead of trying to go through the work of tying a knot by yourself and holding onto the plant in the driftwood or whatever just super glue it instead so i think those two tips right there are probably the best things that you can get from this video uh, i'm sure everybody else has made a video on how to tie a piece of anubias to driftwood but uh thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it uh if you're not subscribed to this content and you like it and you want to see more of it Go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell icon for all notifications. And remember guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.